Hello everyone, um, this is a, a short video. Um, I know some of you are still working online. Um, 12 tips for teaching in a virtual learning environment. Um, this is a piece of research um, from the health industry that I do think uh, has some relevance to the world of education. Um, and many of the things we will already do, I guess it's just adapting to online. You know, I'm uh, actually teaching in two locations through a Zoom uh, call straight ahead and to my mobile phone here to social media. And um, here are the 12 tips. Um, so first one is reviewing the learning objectives, you know, looking at your cur current curriculum and adapting this for online delivery. Um, reviewing the resources that you have available, so all those usual uh, worksheets and things, how will you hand those out practically online. Exploring the strategy, so you've got a plan but also thinking about how you're going to deliver and sequence your curriculum and building in retrieval practice exercises to not only engage, but to support long-term retention. Um, when you design the content for online, you've got to use a variety of strategies. So my tip, you know, I'm using Zoom here, social media here, and sometimes I do live interactive polls on both devices using breakout rooms, which we've got here. So maximizing the technology, uh, thinking about the purpose of assessment online, you know, retrieval practice, low stake assessment, no grades, but where that's going to go towards um, towards the end of the curriculum. And, you know, given that we um, are still in a bit of a limbo about the nature of exams uh, and how pupils will be assessed. Um, but if we put this aside, um, you know, how are we going to engage kids through online um, assessment, give them feedback? Uh, many of you will be using Zoom, Google Hangouts, Microsoft Teams, those types of platforms. But you're going to need to refine and reflect to a virtual environment all those uh, curriculum materials, the resources and your strategies. Top tip, um, you need to familiarise yourself with all the tools, uh, as well as also get the pupils to be familiarised. I would suspect now, six months in, many of you are becoming a bit more uh, good at this type of stuff, but you'll still find one or two pupils need... Um, some reminders, particularly safeguarding, being safe and respectful. Have a backup plan. What if both these, um, the, the Zoom I've got here, the video I've got here, uh, suddenly uh, switch off? Do students know where to go to to find their resources? Or do we switch back to emails? Do you have a backup plan if the, the connection disappears? Um, so have a backup plan and then consider you know, social, uh, social media, online teaching, 24-7 connections, that compassion, that transition to online. Um, thinking about how we can also uh, maintain uh, a bit of humane uh, contact uh, remotely. So I'm doing it here. Um, this is a piece of research. We'll include the link. I uh, hope you find it um, useful and something that you might want to consider referring to if you're still in a position where you're thinking about how to switch more of your material to teaching online. Because I know some of you watching are, have been in lockdown since January. Um, people watching where I am here in England were back at school um, with you know lockdowns and various restrictions taking place and approximately about 800,000 to a million people's already self-isolated since the beginning of term. Um, so um, hope that helps. Let me know what you think.